Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Viva La Juicy Secure or Sucre or Sugar. Uh, this is a uh, beautiful, beautiful perfume that was discontinued at one point and came back. I never had gotten my hands on it. I saw that Alta had it online and um, I am a diamond at Alta and I decided to go ahead and pick it up when they had um, 10x points. So this was my purchase for that time. So it comes in this beautiful box. It says Juicy Couture. And I do have several Juicy Couture fragrances, including Viva La Juicy and some other ones I'm going to be sharing with you here today. Okay. So here is the bottle in all her beauty. So it almost looks like a cupcake. Um, it has the almost like the cupcake holder here at the bottom in a gold as you can tell and it just looks so beautiful and it has like the drips of frosting and this very heavy glass okay very very beautiful then it has the beautiful emblem that most of them have a beautiful emblem here in the front which is almost a tried and true juicy couture that you know you're pit you're about to pick up something juicy couture along with the infamous bottle cap here topper that looks like a big old piece of crystal and this is also a familiar sight as you will see in a few minutes it comes with this really cute pink bow with the white polka dots and it's just a beautiful hefty very expensive but fun looking bottle so it's easy to recognize that you're about to pick up a beautiful gourmand sweet just amazing scent now i have been rocking this for two days now and i'm going to give you my review but before that some of the scents that you will um, smell in here it comes across sweet it is a gourmand it's considered a floral fruity gourmand scent um, you have some vanilla, you have some fruit, you have cacao, almond, and a little bit of warm, spicy scent that goes along with it, which I think is indicative to the sandalwood that is in there as the base. Now, the top notes for this beauty are, word, are red currant, orange, and gardenia. Now, I truly, I, I mean, it, I truly don't smell the gardenia. It just doesn't come across to me at all. Um, but I don't smell the gardenia in this. But the middle note is almond cream, peach, orange blossom, which is like a beautiful citrus, jasmine, which I do smell that. Then the base is a whipped cream, vanilla, cacao, and sandalwood. That just sounds amazing, right? Well, it is. It is absolutely amazing. So the cap comes off. Like I said, this is the familiar look of their cap. And then that's what the bottle looks like from the top. Um, so it does have a nice finished look to that dripping, almost frosted look that it has. This is the sprayer. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, I got to spray some on myself right now. And yes, I am an over sprayer. I am going through the change, so I require more sprays than normal. Um, that's just me, though. I found that this is a beautiful, beautiful, if you're into sweet scents, you would want this in your collection. This would be one that you might want to go ahead and grab. This is working out beautifully in the heat for me right now. And I, I really and truly think that this is going to smell amazing in the cold weather as well. So I'm looking forward to autumn um, swooping in so I can wear it during the autumn when we're wearing, um, you know, those cozy knits, white cable knit, blue jeans with some cute little flats or, or some boots and blue jean jackets and just feeling warm and cozy when I go out with the kids and maybe we're taking our drives through the different areas and maybe we go um, apple picking or something. This would be a lovely scent to wear because it lends itself to day wear and into night because of this beautiful sweetness and the vanilla notes. Then you have that little bit of spice with the almond that plays around in there as well and you smell that, that creamy it's like a cashmere whipped cream effect in here it's just a beautiful sweet gourmand scent 
that just takes you everywhere. Um, I was so happy when I got this. I was truly, truly happy. I found that it performs really well on my clothes. Um, it lasts for several hours on my clothes versus my skin. But like I said, I am going through the change. And if you are going through the change, um, your perfumes will work differently on you. Something that maybe you wore 10 years before will not have its longevity just because of your hormonal changes. Just a heads up. So, you know, what you're going through, high stress times during your life, some of your fragrances may react differently and you're not too sure why it's, it's reacting to your body. But, um, this is an absolute gorgeous. I am loving this whole cupcake theme in here. And if you look at the inside of the cupcake, it is actually pink. Can you see the pink? Yeah, it's like, it looks like a foil, but it's not, it's a metal, but it's pink. So the whole thing is just so charming. So this would be a lovely scent for anybody, I believe, 16 years and up. Um, it's such a beautiful neutral scent that so many people can wear at any age. And I love the packaging, love the packaging. I just wish that the scent lasted longer on my skin versus my clothing. And um, it lasted for a pretty long time on my sheets because I like to spray perfume on my sheets as well. Um, so it was a pleasant night um, going to sleep with this beautiful gourmand that was playing around in my pillowcases and my blankets. Um, that vanilla and the almond sweet um, fruitiness that was coming through and I could still smell the jasmine. It was absolutely beautiful. So I do recommend the Viva La Juicy Sucre. I'm going to say Sucre or Sugar <laughs> because it's sweet and it's beautiful packaging. This would be a great gift. Now I do have Viva La Juicy, which I don't have here with me. Um, it's in my room. I do have that one and it does have a very slight, slight similar DNA, but I found this one to be a lot more sweeter. Um, so if you're looking for something that's a lot sweeter, more gourmand, but not over the top, this one would be a good one to have. Okay. And this is a du perfume and this one is a 3.4 fluid ounce and I absolutely love it. Now, the next one I wanted to briefly, um, the next one I wanted to briefly speak about, I'll just lay her down right there. Um, I got this one that's new to me as well. This one is, um, uh, Viva La Juicy, but petals, yes, please, with the petals, as you can tell. Um, it has the petal top versus the solid top, but it's a similar design, as you can tell. Normally, it has something rocking around here. This one has the big bow, and then it has um, this little drop right here that has the little pink um, rhinestones. Then it has an ombre effect here to this bottle. This particular bottle has like a pink going down into an ombre. It has the beautiful pink metal right here. And um, it's a beautiful, hefty, hefty bottle. This one also has a beautiful sprayer. Let's see it. See that? And this is a beautiful floral. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, um, if you want me to do a review for this, I will. But I just wanted to share with you that I do have this one. This came to me a few weeks ago. And I have been enjoying it. Um, I'm going to you know, add this to my weekly, my weekly, um, what I wore this week, uh, cause I have been grabbing this one a lot this past week. So this will be a part of that one along with, along with this one since it's new. Um, but I wanted to share both of them with you cause they both are available on Ulta right now. And this one is a beautiful floral. That's not over the top. I think this is daytime and evening friendly. And it's just gorgeous. But I can do a, re a review for that if you ask. Leave the comment down below. And then I pulled these two out. Just to let you know that Viva La Juicy um, does have other fragrances that are not candy-ish. That are not sweet. That are not just floral. They do have other ones that have a little bit more um, personality. More amber. A little bit richer. A little bit deeper. This one is called Majestic Woods. 
um, Juicy Couture, and this one's called Glistening Amber. Now, I've had these for, oh, I want to say maybe a year or two each, and I'm really enjoying them. This one comes in this beautiful orange um, glass bottle that looks really cool, has that metallic look in the inside along with all this beautiful gold um, right here. It's just a beautiful, beautiful bottle as you can tell. And um, this scent, I'm going to put it in here because i got two scents on right now, lends itself beautifully to the winter. This is a deeper, richer amber with a wood scent behind it. When I first got it, I will tell you, when I first got it, yeah, because you can tell I haven't worn it. I always wear this only during winter. I don't use it during the summer. Um, this is just a winter one for me. I didn't like it, and it grew on me. I actually had to wear this for a while to let it grow on me, and then I started doing mixes with it. And I was having a lot of fun doing a, mis a mixologist routine using this one. So I felt that it brought home a lot of personality to the ones that didn't have too much personality. And um, I really enjoyed this one. Then this one that is the Woods, uh, Majestic Woods. Um, this one has more of a gold feel to it, as you could tell. Really beautiful bottle. Really heavy. The, the common cap that you'll find that you know that you're reaching for a Juicy Couture type of a scent. Again, this one is a little bit different for me. This one I also wear, as you could tell, yeah, I also wear during the winter, um, autumn and winter, I should say, autumn and winter scents. This one's a little bit more lighter. It's not so much in your face with the wood and the amber. It has, I feel like, a little bit more personality. This one's a little bit richer, a little bit more deeper. Um, you know, it's for somebody that really likes their darker scents, the richer, darker, more musky sandalwood type. This one, um, the amber, would suit you well versus the majestic woods that is a little bit more on the lighter side compared to the darker orange bottle. But I will do reviews for these at a later time going closer to autumn and tell you the different mixes that I've been using these with to brighten them, brighten them up and give them a little bit more complexity and having more fun with my fragrances that I currently have and mixing them up. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I was super excited to get this new one that looks like a cupcake. Absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend it. I recommend the petals one. Petals, yes, please, as well. Um, I've been really enjoying both of these. So thank you so much for coming by, and I'll talk to you guys. Let me lay down my bottle so you guys can see how pretty they are. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.